after all the fancy demos of Devin, we have this paper from Microsoft which talks about AutoDev which is an automated AI driven development framework. So what is the idea over here? The idea over here is that AutoDev enables an AI agent to achieve a given objective by performing several actions within the repository. So let's go to the framework. Right. Uh, so this is like an AI software engineer. So what happens over here is that this is their framework. A user would actually specify an objective. User can define an objective. Then there is a conversation manager which initializes the conversation settings. Right. And then there is this agent scheduler which has access to multi agents. Now these agents could be uh, large language models like GPT-4 or they could be very specialized small language models, right? Which can do very specific tasks. So the agent scheduler orchest orchestrates the AI agents to collaborate on a task and forwards their command to the conversation manager. There is a parser in the conversation manager which actually parses these commands and then you know it has access to a tools library now in the tools library you have various tools for file editing retriever uh, retrieval uh, build and execution testing git right now these using these tools uh, you know the from the parser uh, the tool basically the commands uh, it operates on a repository and this repository is in an evaluation environment within a secure docker Right. So the agent's actions are executed using these tools on this evaluation environment, which is within the secure uh, uh, Docker. And the output is then sent to the conversation manager, which adds it as part of the conversation. And this iterative process repeats till the task is successfully completed. So this is the auto dev framework, right? How you can, uh, you know, have an AI software engineer. That is the idea over here. So to see if it works, uh, they actually tested this framework. They used GPT-4 as the only agent over here, right? And they tested this on a certain, uh, you know, uh, data set. Uh, let me go to that uh, data set. Uh, so they tested this, how effective is AutoDev in code generation tasks. Uh, they uh, tested it on the code generation task using the human eval problem solving data set. It comprises of 164 handwritten programming problems, each containing a function signature, doc string, body, and an average of 7.7 .7 unit tests. So what they're saying is that uh, on this particular, uh, you know, data set, uh, AutoDev achieves top three performance on leaderboard without extra training data, unlike some other, uh, you know, um, work like uh, LATS and reflection. Right. If you see over here, the base GPT-4 performance is just 67.0, whereas AutoDev with GPT-4 as the agent is giving this kind of a performance over here, and it doesn't require extra training. Okay. Uh, the second question is: Is it good at test generation? Right. How AutoDev is uh, in test generation? So there they again did on human eval, and uh, you know when compared to um, human uh, this thing, which is 100% basically. AutoDev is 87.8 over here, um, the pass one accuracy. Um, now, uh, and the coverage is also quite good in terms of passing coverage and overall coverage in the tests. And this is much better than zero shot GPT-4. Okay. And then they ask this third question is how efficient is AutoDev in completing tasks? So uh, uh, what they say over here is that we investigate um, this thing. So for example, they look at, uh, you know, uh, how much, uh, the total number of tokens used right and the distribution of commands that's what they look at over here and over here if you look at this third question uh, you know how efficient is autodev in completing tasks so they say that uh, for code generation autodev executed an average number of 5.5 .5 commands comprising 1.8 write operations 1.7 test operations 0.9 to stop operations they talk about this over here uh, basically, this is the number of cumulative number of commands used by AutoDev for an average task of code and test generation, right? 
So then they talk about the number of tokens in comparison to zero shot GPT-4. Um, GPT-4 uses 200 tokens for code generation and 373 tokens for test generation on average for each task. The average length of auto dev conversation is close to, you know, uh, higher number of tokens. But this encompasses users goal messages from the agent and responses from the evaluation environment. Right, that's what they say over here. Autodev uses more tokens, a significant amount are spent for testing, validation and explanation of its own generation code going beyond what the baseline approach offers. So yes, it is going to cost more. Okay, that is what they are saying over here. But then uh, what is the key thing over here? The key thing is that the role of the software engineer of the future. Okay, right. Um, that's what is interesting. The software developer's role within this framework transforms from manual action and validation of AI suggestions to a supervisor overseeing multi-agent collaboration on tasks with the option to provide feedback. Developers can monitor the progress of Autodev towards goals by observing the ongoing conversation used for communication among agents and the repository. So the difference is currently software engineers may make use of tools like GPT-4 to generate the code. right? But the validation, testing and other things are something which the developer does. Here what they are envisioning for the future is that the developer will become more like a supervisor who can monitor the progress of this tool and this framework is supposed to take care of the validation uh, everything. right? So uh, the software engineer becomes more like a supervisor who is looking at multi-agent collaboration on tasks. Okay. And another interesting part they said over here is that, uh, you know, you can have these agents, right? Okay. So here in the current uh, evaluation, they just use a single GPT-4 as agent for the task. But you could have, um, you know, more complex tasks. You can have multi-agent collaboration, like one of the LLMs can become an AI developer, another can become an AI reviewer with each having distinct responsibilities and available actions. So basically you can have a software development team, right? Uh, what stops from having a AI QA engineer? What stops from having a you know AI tester, right? So you can have multiple AI agents over here, and they could um, you know communicate with each other, collaborate. So you can have really complex scenarios going forward, and this can actually enhance Autodev's performance. So this is quite uh, interesting. They have shown an example over here about you know uh, this is an user objective which talks about writing a pie test. Write a pie test with four or five assertions that covers the following function. There is a function, right? And uh, you know you should write test like this, and it uh, should be returned to a new file. And these are the things which Autodev agent does. So it writes a test file, then it finds out that there is an error in this, um, then it kind of iterates over it, right? Um, so it gives explanation like uh, some text cases failed, no. Then it goes and changes the test functions. Right. And finally, it says that, OK, all things are passed and, you know, this is the final, uh, you know, pie test code. OK, so this is a very interesting framework. Um, to me, it looks like the future of software engineering is going to change. Right. The role of the software engineer will change over the period of time when you have, you know, more powerful tools like Autodev coming in or uh, you know, even more powerful LLMs coming in, maybe GPT-5. Uh, so definitely the role of a software engineer in the future is going to change. How much it's going to change only time will tell. I'll be putting the link to this paper. You can check it out. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.